today's video, we are going to be making this home smell like Christmas. So today's video is all about the simmer pot and making your home just smell cozy, warm, and like Christmas. So I'm going to be showing you a few different ways you can do that and I can't wait to get everything smelling really good in here. So if you come over here, I will show you what I have over here. I just have some ingredients laid out, um, several things that we're going to be using. So of course, first of all, we have some cinnamon sticks and some cranberries as well as some cloves, um, some rosemary, and then also just some pine. And this I got just from out in our own yard. Um, I wasn't really sure what kind of pine you're supposed to use, um, if there's a specific one or whatever. So we're gonna try this and see if this one works and I will let you know. And then as well as we have our pot of water over here. Um, this is just a big frying pan. I'm gonna fill it about halfway with water. And I almost forgot about oranges. We can't skip out on those. Um, this makes it smell really good as well. Now I think you could do like a really big pot um, if you wanted to. Um, this would just make so you don't have to refill your water as often. You definitely want to keep adding water, you know, once your water gets low um, because you do not want to, you know, burn these. That does not smell good. Um, so yeah, just make sure there's always water in your pot, whatever size pot you're using, and you should be good to go. If you didn't know, we are planning on hopefully getting a short little video out to you throughout the weekdays um, in December, from December 1st until Christmas Eve. So if you haven't seen all of those and would like to catch up, I will be sure to put the playlist in the description box so you can catch up to the ones that you haven't seen or if you wanna start at day one and watch them all the way through. So we are going to go ahead and turn our burner on and just put it on low. And then first of all, we're going to go ahead and slice our orange. And then once you have that sliced, I tried to slice mine, you know, fairly thin, but um, just to get all the juices out that we can. We're just gonna put that in there. And then next we're gonna add about a half a cup of our cranberries. And this is totally to your preference if you wanna add more or less, um, or if you just wanna dump until it looks nice, um, you can totally do that. Cause that doesn't look like quite enough. So I'm gonna add a couple more. Um, just kind of add them in as, as I like how it looks. Then next we're gonna add in some cinnamon sticks. And then we're gonna add in about a tablespoon of our whole cloves. Another thing that you could add at this point is a little bit of nutmeg. I don't currently have nutmeg on hand, so I can't add it, but I think that would add a little bit more spice to your simmer pot, and I think that would smell good as well. But next, we are going to add in a couple of our rosemary. So this one is complete right now, and yeah, so we're just gonna let this water get nice and warm, and let it simmer all day. All right, so now that we have our simmer pot going over here to the side, we're gonna go ahead and put this together um, so that you can give it away as a gift. I have two different size jars. I'm not, I think I'll use this one. Um, and then we'll maybe tie the orange on top here with ribbon or something. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and add our ingredients, starting with our cranberries here on the bottom. cinnamon sticks I'm 
gonna add two in here on the jar and then I'm gonna use one um, tied in the bow on the top then for decorations. All right, and then next, uh, why don't we add in our rosemary. And you could use the rosemary um, on top as decoration too. I'm gonna add a few smaller ones in here. And then our clove. And then we're just going to close this up top here. So there we have our ingredients. And then we need to add our orange on top. And I just have several different um, ribbons and some jute twine and things. So we're going to try to put this together um, and make it look best. Try to get that orange in there pretty tight so it doesn't go anywhere. And then I also made this little tag that you can use. Um, I just made it on my Cricut. You can just add your own tag um, to the top here then. So I'm going to put these together um, and use them for just a little bit of decoration here. So another way that you could gift the simmer pot is we're just going to use a pint size uh, wide mouth jar. So first of all we're going to slice our orange just basically as we did for our simmer pot over here. By the way this thing is starting to smell really good. Now I have heard, and I'd like to try this, I've never tried this, so maybe try it out and let me know how it works for you. Um, but I know there's people that save all their orange, um, the rinds, like when they peel an orange to eat, they'll save all the outside parts and use that in their Instant Pot. And they say that smells just as good as the orange. So I would like to try that as well sometime. All right, so we're gonna take our jar and we're just going to start putting in um, our orange. And just kind of squishing it in there as best we can. Something like that. Maybe we can get another one in here in the middle maybe. Try to get our whole orange in here if we can. That one doesn't have much on. We're going to do this one as our last slice. Alright, so we have our orange in. Then we're going to put in our 
cranberries on top. And the cloves are in there as well. So that's how it's looking so far. And maybe we'll try to get some of these prettier pieces down here. Um, and pour some of these cranberries out. Try to get a couple cinnamon sticks down in here. Maybe a rosemary. So as you can see, that makes it nice and full. Um, it's full to the top. And then we have a cinnamon and a rosemary sprig for our decorations. So now once we have everything in our jar, this is how it looks here. And we're gonna go ahead and put on our lid. Now clearly, as you can see, um, this lid isn't the nicest, but I use these lids, so that's why it looks like this. But um, now, if I would be giving this, you know, as a gift to neighbors or friends or whatever, I would definitely um, find a new lid, something that's new, of course. And you could definitely cover this with like some nice Christmas fabric, um, what have you. I'm actually not going to do that because once I have the lid on, I want to be able to see those cranberries there on the top. And if you would have fabric, it would kind of cover it. So we're just going to leave it like this. First of all, before we put on our lid, I'm gonna go ahead and just fill it up with water. So that's nice and full there. We're just gonna go ahead and put on our lid. And then we can decorate around the sides with some ribbon or whatever you want to do. And then of course we kept these for the top. Alright, so this is another beautiful way to gift one of these simmer pot recipes and of course you could add a tag. Um, I didn't make one for this one, but you could add your tag on here with directions on how to use it as well. And yeah, so this is basically all the ingredients that I used for this simmer pot. And what a great gift this would be, something that people actually use and they could remake for themselves as well. Thank you. 